In this video, we're going to show you how the Fluke 729 connects to a heart transmitter. The first thing you do uh, is, of course, connect up your milliamp jacks to the transmitter to your plus and minus. Connect up your pressure line from the Fluke 729 to the transmitter as well. And then press the heart button. You're now on the heart pulling screen. It's trying to find the device. Two things you need to do. One, you need to enable that 250 ohm internal heart resistor. And two, press F2 to turn on loop power. Once the Fluke 729 sees the transmitter, it will display it up on the screen. And at this point, you can just press F4 to continue to select that device. Here it's reading the information on the transmitter and then the screen you'll see next are the selections for looking at heart data, service, and calibration. Let's take a look at uh, the first one, heart data. Now there's a couple ways you can select any uh, of the choices on the screen. One is just by pressing the down arrow keys and hitting continue or you can just select the number of the, of the setting. For example, press 1 takes you right into it. On this screen, uh, this is the heart data. This is, these are all the uh, calibration specific uh, uh, commands that heart uh, is able to see here. So if you notice at the very top, you got the tag ID. Uh, here you can actually change the tag ID name. Uh, then you can also come down, select unit type, and also go down and check your upper and lower range. At this point, you can also go in and modify that value. It could change the upper range to something different by pressing uh, enter and then go ahead and make your change. Notice down below, it is showing you what the uh, default values range are for that particular transmitter. So I could go anywhere from minus uh, to up to 300 PSI. Uh, when you enter your new selection, just press send or press cancel to go back. Speaking of back, the back button's really nice on this uh, product. If I press back, watch, it just takes me right back to the menu. So you can pretty much go anywhere on your screens using your back button. You can get all the way back to the very beginning if you want. Let's look at heart service. So I'm just going to go down arrow, hit continue, takes me into service. Uh, from here, I can set my PV0 trim. I can go down to uh, trim my 40 20 milliamp output, or I can also uh, trim to applied values on the sensor, as well as the other features uh, uh, like rearranging the transmitter and other, other features. Again, back button takes you right back to the start. Uh, choice number three goes into doing an ad hoc calibration. Uh, number four allows you to do a calibration from a task which you've downloaded from DPC Track 2, uh, ProCal V5, or another supported software. And then the last choice, five, allows the uh, uh, 729 to go out and pull the bus again. 